Hello, this is Keir from Zenforo. In this video, we're going to look at something that is quite easy to do, but sometimes non-obvious how to approach it. And that is how to get a page that runs on Zenforo, but doesn't look like Zenforo. When I say it doesn't look like Zenforo, what I mean is it doesn't include this standard page Chrome with the uh, tabs at the top and uh, the footer at the bottom and all of that sort of stuff. When we design templates for the most part, we are dealing with the content templates, and that is this stuff um, for the demo pad index, for example. But behind the scenes, uh, there is a container template, and the standard one that is used most of the time is the page container, which is this absolutely gigantic block of HTML that does all the uh, work of producing the stuff that surrounds the main content template. But sometimes you're going to want to produce a page that doesn't use the page container. And the particular use case that we're going to talk about today is producing a home page for your site that is not going to look like Zenforo. It's not going to use the standard page container. Uh, so if I click on the home link here, it's just going to go to my uh, list of stuff sitting on my local host. Um, and what I want to do is change that so that I have um, a home page that is running on Zenforo. So let's get started with that. I think uh, the, the first thing to do is to go and create the structure that I want. So right now the index page route is forums, which is fine. And the home page URL is HTTP localhost. So let's change that so that uh, the home page URL is actually the uh, URL that we're using here. So it's going to be localhost slash tutorial. And then I'm going to overwrite the index page route with one that we're going to create. So I'm going to call it um, home page. That should do. And then I'm going to make sure that the root breadcrumb is going to home. And uh, that is basically all we need there. Now I need to go into the development menu and create a new route to represent that home page thing that we just did. So let's add a route. It's public route, route if you prefer. Route prefix is home page. I don't need any additional um, arguments for it. We just need to point it to a controller. So that's going to be a demo pad. Uh, home page, I think, is how that's going to work. Um, let's just check the way that that. Um, uh, where's our notes one? Notes, d -d 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 -d, demo pad, note, and demo pad home page. Okay, so that's good. Um, so let's see what's going to happen now. If I click onto home, then it does that because I haven't refreshed it yet. So let's go back and refresh. Click on the home link and it's going to tell me that we haven't created the demo pad home page indexed yet. So let's go and do that. Uh, so we'll head back into our demo pad add on here and we're going to pub and controller and create a new PHP class called home page. And we're going to extend the abstract controller, I think, and say OK to that. No, I don't want to do that. And uh, let's just make sure that this has done the right thing. So um, public function action index. Let's see if this is the right thing. Uh, so we'll refresh that again and make sure that we get a different error message. Yeah, so now we get a no reply. OK, now what we do at this point is the clever bit. So normally we would uh, return a view and then we would give it uh, the particular view name that we need. So demo pad home page index and the name of a template. Let's call it um, demo pad home page and some view parameters, but we're not actually going to pass anything to it at this point. So I'll leave that as is. Um, but the problem here is that it's going to take my demo pad homepage template, whatever that may be, and it's going to wrap it in the page container, which we don't want. So let's go and create the um, template that we need, first of all, and then we'll come back and make it so that it's not wrapped. So back to here, and we'll head into the appearance system. Templates, I'm going to add a new public template called demo 
notepad homepage. And then uh, I think I've just got some uh, random HTML hanging around here somewhere. Um, this is basically just uh, a bunch of stuff that will put the Zenfora logo on the screen. So that's going to be fine. Save that. And now I've got a DemoPad homepage um, template. Notice that it does have the uh, standard doc type and HTML tags. So this is expecting to be the, the complete page. Let's go and see what happens if we try to render that out. So we should now have a, a, a reply for this. Uh, so if we return, it will render that template, but it's going to try to do it inside the page container. And the result will be, well, yes, I mean, it sort of works. But um, remember, we want to make this look not like Zenfora. So we need to get rid of the wrapping stuff. And, and not only that, but uh, if I were to inspect this, we'd see that um, somewhere inside, let me just grab it from here. Um, mm -hmm. It's in there somewhere, isn't it? In Peabody content, I suspect. Here we go. Look, it's um, trying to use the uh, title tag and the HTML tag and whatever else from the other templates. So clearly that's um, not only not working, but also invalid. So let's get rid of that and go and fix it. And the way that we're going to fix it is we're going to tell Zenforo to wrap our demo pad homepage template with something other than the standard page container. In fact, we're going to tell it to wrap it with nothing. And the way that we're going to do that is we are going to pop in here and just talk directly to the templater. So this app templater set page param. Now, this uh, set page param is um, also workable inside the template. So we could specify inside our demo pad demo pad homepage template, um, a tag called page and and actually pass up a value to the container. But in this particular case, because um, we're just going to keep plain HTML for the time being in our uh, demo pad homepage template, I'm going to do it in the code instead. So the parameter that we're going to pass is called template, which by default is set to uh, page container. And I'm instead going to tell it to wrap with absolutely nothing, um, which will essentially just spit out the, the output of this rather than trying to wrap it with another template. So let's save that and go and check that it's worked. There we are, lovely. Um, and then let's just make sure that we really are dealing with a fully fledged Zenfora template instead of just um, spitting out the HTML uh, verbatim. So let's do something like um, pass a view parameter into it. So let's have uh, a test that goes, hello, um, <laughs> for the sake of argument, that'll do. And then let's come into here and say um, test. And let's see if that will come out. There we go. There's our hello. Uh, let's update that again, just to be sure. There we go. So now if we um, come back to our notes page and then click on to home, then we've got this thing that is running through Zenforo and uh, is all working fine. So let's just make sure again that we can work with the full gamut of Zenforo template syntax if we want to uh, in that template by linking back to our uh, demo notes thing, shall we? So let's um, head into here and say link to uh, notes. Um, let's wrap that with this because uh, obviously you can't link a plain p tag. And that's still not working. Let's try that. Uh, so we'll go to home, there's a link to notes, go to notes, and here we go. So we've now got our homepage that is um, fully able to use everything that Zenfora has um, at its disposable, but doesn't look like Zenfora because it's not wrapped in the page container.